Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create cross-tab queries to answer questions about how field data within a single table relates to each other. Cross-tab queries display one table field down the left side of the result table and another table field across the top of the table. In the intersecting cells, you will see data about how the two fields are related via a third field. For example, if you had a table that showed the salesperson, the products sold, and the number of each sold for the different orders, you could create a cross-tab query that sums the total amount sold of each product for each salesperson. When you create a cross-tab query, it is important to remember that the cross-tab must be created from a single table or query. Many times, these types of queries are based on other queries that you may have created, as a single base table in your relational database rarely has the necessary data for meaningful cross-tab analysis. Cross-tab queries display their answers in a spreadsheet-like format, and as such, the result set of a cross-tab query is not updatable. Access gives you the Crosstab Query Wizard to assist you in creating crosstab queries. You can run this wizard by clicking the Create tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries group or the other group as it was called in Access 2007. Now in the new Query dialog box that appears, select the Crosstab Query Wizard and then click the OK button. In the Crosstab Query Wizard, the first screen prompts you to select the table or query that will serve as the basis of the Crosstab Query. You can then select the desired table or query in this screen and click the Next button to continue. The second screen will prompt you to select up to three fields that you want to display as the row headings at the left side of the Crosstab Query's result set. Move the desired fields from the Available Fields list to the selected fields list using the right pointing arrow button. Then click Next to continue. Now the next screen asks you to select which field you want for the column headings at the top of the crosstab result set. Once again, select the desired field and then click the Next button to continue. On the next screen, you select what number you want shown in the intersecting cells of the column and row headings. In the fields list, select the desired field to calculate, and then select which function to perform on that field from the functions list. If you wish to show a row summary, then you can check the Yes, Include Row Sums checkbox. Then click the Next button to continue. In the last screen, you can type a name for the crosstab into the field provided, and then click the Finish button to view the result set of the crosstab query. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.